Okay, a little bit about uh, the uh, Piano Man guitar that I built for Doc Williamson. Let's take a look at it. I don't know how much of it you can see here, but this is a resonator. Uh, right here I've got that drawer pull uh, tailpiece. we got some fleur de lis for the sound holes because uh, Doc's favorite place is the uh, yeah, is uh, down there in New Orleans. Yeah, I also got the uh, Bayou Rub Tin that we're using for the resonator itself. The uh, box is a Gloria Cubano box, and it's basically a string through construction, but uh, we actually placed the strings on top. That was just because it was good height for the resonator. You can see how everything goes together on the inside there. It does have a piezo, but honestly, I think it sounds better without it. There's quite a relief, uh, if you can see that, because we have a bit of space there. I went ahead and put in an extra decoration. You can see that decoration right here. That's a Florida Gator. And it's not upside down, but it is it's set up for a left-handed play, so uh, Doc's a lefty. Uh, if you notice here on the fretboard, the fretboard is a big keyboard inlay. And I know you can't see it because it's so dim in here, but the uh, inlay on here also has Doc's motto. Uh, written out in uh, in our best bastardized Latin. Thanks to Doc Oakrook for that, uh, helping me out with that. Uh, the headstock itself is a grand piano. You can see it's got my logo and also has this little uh, inlaid piano keys in pearl up here. Uh, the whole instrument, uh, let's see, we've got oak and paduka on the back. We've got a paduka inlay strip on the side. And uh, we're using gold tuners. Uh, for the hardware up there on the piano headstock. I'll give you some idea how the thing sounds. I like it tuned really low. It's got kind of a swampy tone to it. Pretty good idea of what the Doc Williamson Piano Man model sounds like. <laughs>